OK, so I'll try to go through this problem a little bit uh, more quickly uh, for you. Let's go through this, because it's going to be a little bit of work. But again, make sure that we have a binomial in our denominator that contains i. So therefore, we need to multiply by our conjugate. Now, I know this doesn't look like a plus bi, because we have a couple negatives. This is negative 1 minus 4i. However, when multiplying by the conjugate, the conjugate is going to be the exact same binomial, except the difference of your real and your imaginary point is going to now be positive. And then we need to make sure we multiply that on the numerator and the denominator. All right. Now, the denominator should be pretty basic to, uh, to multiply. But now we need to multiply both of these terms. And notice that these are binomials times binomials. So we need to go back to our products that we did for multiplying complex numbers and redo these. So what I have here is my numerator. I'm going to have 4 minus 3i times negative 1 plus 4i. And then for my denominator, I have negative 1 minus 4i times negative 1 plus 4i. All right. So I need to find the product for the numerator and the denominator. And I know it's a lot of work. Um, but we can do this in a couple different factors. I'll do one by FOIL and then one using the box method. So by FOIL, I multiply the first two terms, my first two terms, my outer, my inner, and my last. So therefore, the first term is 4 times negative 1. So I'll do first, outer, inner, last. So I do 4 times negative 1. For the outer, I do 4 times 4i. For the inner, I do a negative 3i times negative 1. And then for the last, I'll do a negative 3i times 4i. Then I just multiply these out. So this equals negative 4. This equals 16i. This equals a positive 3i. And this equals a negative 3 times 4, which is a negative 12i squared. All right. Now remember, negative 12i squared, i squared we can represent as negative 1. So therefore, this ends up being a positive 12. So now I can combine a positive 12 and negative 4 to leave me with my new numerator, which is going to be so 12 plus a negative 4 is going to be a positive 8. And then 16i plus 3i is now going to be 19i. All right, so that's my new numerator. Now I need to determine what my new denominator is. So again, I could use FOIL just like I did here before, or I could also use the box method. And on the box method, all I do is I take a numerator, put it up top, and I put the denominator along the side. And then I just find the product of each one of these uh, rectangles. And to find the product of, or to find the area of the rectangle, you just multiply your length times width. This is a difference of two squares, so you could probably do this on your own if you wanted to, but I like to see the visual method. Negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 1. Negative 1 times negative 4i is a positive 4i. Negative 1 times 4i is going to be a negative 4i. And 4i times negative 4i is a negative 16 i squared. Now remember, i squared, well, i squared equals negative 1. So we have negative 16 times negative 1. And that actually ends up equaling a positive 16. So we notice we have positive 4i, negative 4i. Those are going to add up to 0. Then I have 16 and 16 and 1, which is going to leave me with a positive 17 as my new denominator. So by multiplying um, the two products of my numerator, I got 18 plus 9, 19i, or 8 plus 19i. By multiplying these two products, I get 17. Now I just need to rewrite it in the form of a plus bi. So I divide the 17 into both terms. My final answer is going to be 8 over 17 plus 19i over 17. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. And that is how you divide your complex numbers. Thanks.